This is a tutorial designed to show how to create nice regression result tables from Stata to reduce the amount of work you have to do in Word. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a log file or actually revise a log file that already exists. Um, second, I need to open up a data set. The data set is called mraz.dta. This data contains information on women's labor force participation. The data comes from 1975. A key variable is whether or not a woman is in the labor force. We're going to ask whether uh, the number of kids that you have who are less than six, number of kids greater than six, age, education, uh, and so forth, whether those things influence whether or not a person is in the labor force. First thing I need to do is to get the software which uh, which will do the work for me. So unfortunately you have to do this every time you use data on the network. SSC install est out comma replace. So what this does is it goes, it goes and gets est out <coughs> which is the uh, procedure that allows us to do the work. Okay now I've got it. Let me run a couple regressions. So I'm going to run in the labor force as a function of kids. Uh, just, just kids alone. So and uh, so I get results. It looks like uh, whether or not you've got little kids really matters. It reduces uh, the chance that you're going to be in the labor force uh, by 20%. So the number of kids, each kid reduces, the, uh, who's under six, reduces your chance of being in the labor force by 20%. That's a lot. Okay, so let's store this estimate. I can call this M1. Okay, let me run another regression. And this time we're going to add uh, uh, education. Let me add a third regression. Oh, I'm sorry, I need to store this thing. So once again, let me go estimate store and I'll call this M2. All right, and let's go with for a third one, just have three out here. So third one is going to add in age. Estimate store M3. Okay, so uh, that's great. What we're going to do now is going to go to learn how to use this command. And I'm, for that purpose, I'm going to go to, uh, this is the resources to help you learn and use data, which uh, there's a link from the Econ 253 homepage. So est out, and you can see the address here. It's just UCLA, uh, ats.ucla.edu slash stat slash stata. Learn about est out. Okay, so uh, the first one here uh, brings us to this. So. Uh, this has got an example, and what we're going to do is we'll do first this really simple thing, asked out M1, M2, M3. Okay, so this is the bare bones version. All right, well, it just gives the coefficient estimates, gives them out with lots of digits and so on. We like to have a little bit more control over what's going on. Okay, so let's go back and find something a little bit more interesting. So how about this one? Uh, this looks a little nice, and I'm going to operate on this and make it a little bit better. So here we go. Uh, what I'm going to do is going to change this to three, and I want to have three decimal points for the SEs. Okay, so now what's going on? Well, we've got stars which indicate the, number, the significance level, uh, very statistically significant, minus 0.2, but a standard error of, oh, about six times smaller, 0.03. All right, and uh, so if it's statistically significant, strongly significant, three stars. What we've got is the, ba the, the B estimates and the estimated standard errors, and we've got the variable names here. We can go a little bit better. Let's go back and go find something even fancier, all right? So I was gonna go real fancy. Let's, let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna copy all this information, see if this works. Just copy it straight into Stata, and let's just try running it, okay? So it doesn't work. Well, here we go. Let's go this one here, get rid of this, and then let's add um, the other information, the legend. Copy that. I'm going to make this line really long. I don't know what BIC is, so I'm actually going to get rid of that one. So here we go, BIC. And this is just going to provide additional statistics. Check this out. Very nice. We got uh, three models. We've got labels for the variables, and we've changed con to constant. 
you've got r squared. The degrees of freedom, well, um, the degrees of freedom is going to fall as we have more variables, but basically we have something like 753 observations. We use up three of those degrees of freedom, and so we get 750 here. You also get a legend which tells you what those stars actually mean. So that's really nice. Okay, we're almost done. Uh, I'm going to add one more thing. We're going to talk about doing probit. Okay, so uh, what I need to do is just do these, these things again. Uh, so here we go. Here's our simplest regression. And let's call this probit. Actually, we'll do deprobit because that's going to be easier to understand. I'll explain what's going on here. So here, deprobit. Okay, and let's store that as model three, and model, excuse me, model four. And then we'll do another one, and maybe we'll just kind of close up here. So, um, okay, deprobit. got age there and we'll store this as model 5. Okay, we want to present these results and we'll use our same terrific command that we had a little while ago. Let's see, it's this one here, only I want to do model 4, model 5, and I have to add one thing here. So I'm going to go with margin, which will tell this data to give you the marginal effects these effects here, these DFDX effects. So let's see. Okay, estimation result M4 not found. Oh, where did I go wrong? So, um, we'll have to see deprobe it. Oh, we didn't we didn't do that. So, all right, let's try again. So let's let's run this guy here, and uh, this time we'll do estimate store M4. Okay. All right, so margin gave us this information here. Um, gave us the marginal marginal value. So having kids less than six years in model five reduces your chance uh, for each kid uh, by um, almost 25%. Each additional year of schooling increases your chance of being in the labor force by about 5%. Notice it doesn't give you R squared and degrees of freedom. Those statistics are actually not included uh, with Probit. So, uh, just to remind you, um, you can go back to this web page and learn more about how to do this stuff. Thanks very much for your attention.